Hello and welcome to another Google Tech Tip. And we are going to be talking today about Google Chrome. Now you might be using Firefox or Safari or some other web browser, but I'd like to show you something kind of slick that Google Chrome can do for you as your web browser. So let's head to google.com. And here at Google, let's say that you found an old postcard or a photograph in your family history materials, a, a scrapbook, uh, maybe it was tucked in a book, who knows where it came from, but you have this image, this photograph, and you've scanned it, so you have a digital copy, and you wanna try to find out what it is. Where was it taken, right? Well, for better known sites around the world, Google Chrome can help you do this. When you're at google.com, you'll notice that um, typically there's just the search box and the Google search button. But when you're in Google Chrome, up here in the right hand corner, you do see the images link. Usually you'll have to run a search and then you have options for images and videos and maps and that kind of thing. But we're gonna click images right out of the gate. Now notice something different in the search box. In the Google search box, you see that little camera icon, and that means that you can send a photograph to Google to have it search it against the other websites across the web and see if there's a match. So if I click on the camera icon, I can do this in two ways. If I found this image on somebody's website, I could put the URL, um, the address for that particular image right in here. I could copy it from a web browser and paste it in. But in this case, I have a digitized image. So I'm going to click upload an image. And here you can see that familiar choose file button. We're going to be able to go onto our hard drive and find that image that we scanned. Here it is. Click to select it and open it up immediately. Here you go. <laughs> the magic happens. It says, well, first it's identified that this looks like medieval architecture. Okay, that makes sense. As you scroll down though, check out what the search results did for us. It says Hartman thumbnail images of postcards, Eden photo, here's another one, Abbey Strand. Ah, I'm getting the feeling that this is in Edinburgh. Let's click this one here. And wow, the image sure looks the same. Let me pull up the original postcard. So here's my original. We'll kind of get this resized here so you could compare the two. I'll put it up over here. I'd say Google did a great job matching this up, didn't it? That's amazing. So we've learned now that this photo that we had actually is the Abbey Strand in Hollyrod in Edinburgh. So while this isn't going to necessarily identify your great great grandfather's house, okay? But who knows, that might be coming in the future. For now though, for locations and maps and any kind of image that might be somewhat more universally known, you can upload it to Google using Chrome and get those matches. It's a really slick feature, and I think it's really an indicator of what we can look forward to in the future. I'm hopeful that one day we are going to upload a photograph of our great-great-grandfather, and it's going to match up the ears and the nose and the eyes. You never know what could happen. But in the meantime, use Google Chrome to your advantage when you're trying to identify those old picture postcards, photos, maps, anything else that you have in your family history. Thanks so much for listening. I'll talk to you soon.